Hello everyone, welcome to another video tutorial on Scratch block programming. So today in this uh, lesson we are going to learn about a fundamental concept in any of the programming languages. Uh, it is called, it is a data structure, it is called list. Now as you have already uh, learned in previous uh, lesson about variable, a variable stores just a single value but whereas a list is a tool that can be used to store multiple pieces of information in a single variable it can be thought of as a variable but in the case of list we can have multiple pieces of information whereas in the case of variable variable can store just one information a list consists of a numbers paired with each item for example here i have created one list called programming language so under this uh, list i have items here for example python c uh, sharp java these are the items of my list now so a list consists of a numbers paired with list items so this is my list item for each item i have a number which is paired with the item so that number is called index so each item in a list can be retrieved using the index or the number which is paired with it uh, this index can be used to retrieve the value from the list the same index can be used to do uh, manipulate the items in the list you can use the index value to delete the item or you can use uh, list uh, the index value to add a new item or you can use index item to replace the item so anything you want to do it uh, with the list value can be done with the help of uh, index or you can use this uh, value and retrieve the index also you can uh, work vice versa so in this uh, quiz example we are trying to implement the concept of list in uh, block programming so what happens in this program is the user will be uh, asked to enter a vowel then the program will compare the answer entered by, uh, entered by the user with the items in the list if the answer entered by the user is correct the score will be updated and finally uh, the score will be displayed in case if the answer is uh, wrong so based on the number of correct answer the total uh, score will be displayed and so let's see the working so here is my scratch so first let me uh, insert the required sprites and the backdrop so for this I'm going to use other than the cat which is relevant to my game or the activity okay my sprite and the backdrop is ready now let us uh, create our list so in order to create list uh, let us first you'll have to go to variables like you have created uh, variable now so to create variable you'll have to click here but in the case of list we'll have to click here on make a list so we'll click here then we'll give the name of the uh, list name like we have given the variable name so let me just give the name as vowels so this will be the name of my list so the list is created now once the list is created you can either uh, enter the list items manually ju by just clicking on the plus icon or you can use the blocks to add uh, items to the list so here are different blocks uh, created once you create a list so once you create the list uh, these blocks will be appearing so here are different blocks which uh, i have already uh, given in the self-explanatory lesson on the slides so if we just go to one by one uh, add 
thing to vowels we'll just add a list uh, item to the uh, list called vowels the list that we have created delete one of vowels we'll just delete the item from the list delete all of vowels we'll delete all the vowels so insert thing at one of vowels so this will just uh, insert the list item at particular index so as i told you list are associated with index so at this particular index so you can have any uh, index value so that particular list will be added to the index that you have provided here so these are all uh, which i will not explain in this video so you can just go through it and if you have uh, difficulty in understanding you can just uh, comment and ask us but these are explained in my slides so our uh, list is ready so what i will do is uh, i'll manually add uh, just for this demonstration i'll add the items manually so what we'll do is so first item is a uh, user may either enter capital a or small a so that therefore i'm uh, adding both the character so capital a okay my now now the list uh, is ready so here is my list called balls where i have the list items a i o u now uh, in order to uh, maintain some score uh, so what i'll do is uh, we'll create a variable called score to maintain the score so i'll uh, okay that's fine now when the green flag is clicked we will just uh, receive the score to zero so for that what i will do is uh, set score to zero so this will be my score now i will have to use uh, control block and repeat five times in order to uh, complete all the five balls of our list items so repeat five times so what to repeat now so what we will do is uh, we will ask before that uh, I have just uh, missed something we'll just have some uh, messages uh, here we'll just say let's begin the quiz and then we will ask user to enter the vowel and we'll wait for two seconds yeah, that's fine now we will repeat so once uh, we click it will say let's begin the quiz and the sprite will ask us to enter the vowel so when you give the character from the keyboard so what happens is uh, uh, so we'll just add one more block sensing ask we'll ask for the answer and wait now the most uh, important part of the activities uh, we will check whether the character entered by the user is uh, there in our list or not so if it is there we'll say the answer is correct and we'll change the score by one otherwise if the character entered by the user is not in our list if it is other than the vowels then we'll just say wrong and we'll repeat for five times so in order to achieve that so what I'll use is I'll use a conditional statement uh, okay this one so what we'll do is so we'll go to uh, our list blocks 
so here we will check whether the list have the character entered by the user so to do that we'll see this one and check whether our list called balls contains the answer entered by the user so we'll choose from here so when the user an uh, answers so this answer will be checked so this is the uh, variable which will uh, store the values entered by the user now what uh, this conditional uh, conditional statement does is it will check whether the answer is there in our list or not so if it is there we'll just say uh, answer is correct for two seconds then we'll just uh, change our score or update the score so we'll update the score by one so this should be score then uh, in case if the user enters wrong answer we'll just say sorry and we'll wait for two seconds so finally what we'll do is we'll just print out the total score or uh, we'll just add here and just we'll add this okay. this is not uh, sorry not this one we'll join this is not compulsory but still you can use it we'll just say total score and we will display score here this is already done here so I'll just hide from here and we'll just leave the message for five seconds okay now the activity or the quiz is ready so let us just see the demo so I'm clicking here okay let's begin the quiz enter the vowel so let's say a enter it says correct again it's asking so e is correct if i answer let's say other than the vowel let's say h sorry wrong answer so how many times three times repeat it e i So yeah, it has uh, repeated for five times. So this is how the quiz works and how the list can be implemented in the activity. So thank you everybody. So if you have problem, please comment below and we'll discuss.